On Saturday, we had this large complex of thunderstorms that had parked over Lake Michigan. What this did in turn was cause massive amounts of pressure and wind to bear down on the lake, and in some areas, they're reporting that they had witnessed these medio tsunamis, which are, when translated, it means that it is a tsunami or a large wave that is caused by weather. And a lot, a lot of times, these strong winds combined with a drop in pressure can cause this to happen. Now, it takes people by surprise near waterways if they've never seen this. And as you can see here in this image, completely flooded out this section. So you have all this pressure and this wind coming in this area, and it's just relentless. It's not stopping. You may recall back in the winter months here within the past few years, there were several different times where there was ice buildup on the Great Lakes. And a few years ago, there was an event on the Great Lakes where this ice buildup was being pushed by wind out of the lake onto the land, and it was like it was growing. It crept right up to people's backyards, right up to their houses, and started busting into their homes, into their back doors. It was all because of this pressure and wind. The same scenario, but that was an ice form, a constant, this in the liquid water form, and you can see what it does. Same thing, just pushing it and bearing down, uh, keeping it going in one direction. So they've had to deal with a lot. Interesting, this is in Traverse City. This is the area where we know there is a very ancient spot buried underwater that goes back some 10, 12,000 years ago. And that's a whole separate mission. Hopefully we can knock out down the road in this neck of the woods, but I wanted to let it be known. This is what just happened up in Michigan. There was also reports of multiple sinkholes opening up up here as well. If I can get any other information, I'll kick that out, but I'll leave a link below. If you got anything you want me to report on, let me know, dabu7yahoo.com. And a shout out to everyone out there that does have my back trying to take on these missions across this country. If there is no Underground World News Live this Friday night, it's because we will be on the road trying to cover things. So stay tuned for more. Peace.